Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can drag and drop a 2D sprite in Godot with a mouse offset. Let's get right into it. So firstly, make sure you have a sprite imported into your resources folder. Then we're going to create a new scene. And this is going to be for our drag and drop sprite. So we're going to click on other node and then we're going to type in node 2D to create a 2D node. Once we've made our 2D node, we need to make a couple other things. So we need to click on the plus up here and type in Sprite 2D to make a 2D sprite. This will also work for an animated sprite if you want to use one of those. Then we're going to drag and drop our Pikachu into the texture. And for the transform, we're going to just make it a bit smaller. So we're going to do 0.3 to make it smaller. Then as a child of the node 2D, we're going to click for plus. And we're going to do area 2D. Then make a child of area 2D. And we're going to we're going to do a collision shape 2D. Make sure the collision shape 2D is a child of area 2D. And make sure area 2D is a child of node 2D. N Sprite 2D is a child of node 2D as well. Then for the collision shape, we're going to click where it has empty and do a new rectangle shape. And then we're going to drag the rectangle shape to be the collision we want. It doesn't need to be perfect, but here we are. So if we click anything in this collision rectangle, that will be considered as starting a drag. So now we need to do a bit of code. So firstly, save your scene. That's going to be a drag and drop object. So I'm going to call it Pika Drag. And we'll just save it. Now go to your parent node, which is your node 2D. We're going to rename it to Pika Chu, and we've capitalized the I for some reason. And then on the parent node, we're going to click on the little add script. And language, we're going to do GD script. Inherits, we're going to do node 2D. Template, we're going to do empty. And that's all we're going to do. Then we're going to click on create. Time to do some fun code. So firstly, make sure you've got extend snow 2D at the top of your code. Then we're going to be, then we're going to make two variables. We're going to do var selected equals false and var mouse offset equals vector two zero zero. So selected is a boolean that keeps track on whether the object is currently being selected. And mouse offset is a vector two and that stores the offset between the node's position and the mouse position when we start dragging. So when we drag our Pikachu, the Pikachu is not going to have the middle of it snapped to where the mouse is it's going to preserve that offset for a smoother experience. After that, we're then going to do func underscore process delta if selected, and then we're going to call a function called follow mouse. So process delta is the function that runs every frame, and delta is just the time elapsed since the last frame. We don't actually use this information, but it still needs to be there. And if we are selected, meaning are we dragging our object, then we're going to call the follow mouse function, so let's go and define the follow mouse function. And this is our follow mouse function. So we're going to do func follow mouse with a colon at the end here. And then we do position equals get underscore global underscore mouse underscore position plus mouse offset. This function is going to make our object follow the mouse position when we're dragging it. And this just gets the position of the mouse. And then we're going to add on the offset that we get when we initially start our drag. So that's all good, but now we need to actually create a function to, de to detect if we've started to drag our object. So for the next step, you need to stay in script mode, but click on your area 2D node in the hierarchy. Then after, click on node. Then what we're going to do is, we're going to want to hook up our Pika drag script with an input event with our collision object 2D. So go to where it says collision object 2D, then go to where it says input event. So you want to click on that and make sure you hook it up to the script that's on your parent node here, which I've called Pikachu. So we click on connect and then we've now got another function in our script called on area 2D input event. So just going to move that up a bit. And we're going to do the following code inside this function. We're going to do if event is input mouse button and event dot button underscore index double equals mouse underscore button underscore left. If event dot pressed mouse offset equals position minus global mouse position and selected equals true. 
else selected equals false. So basically, this function is just going to check if we are dragging or not dragging our object. And our first if statement. So what we're checking here is if it's a mouse event, so there's a click, and it's a left button click. And after we do that, we're then going to do if event.pressed. So basically, we're checking if the mouse button is pressed or held down. And if it is, we're going to calculate an offset as the difference between the node's position and the mouse's global position. This helps keep the node under the mouse while dragging. And then we put selected equals true because we're currently dragging the object. However, if event.pressed is false, meaning we've lifted up the mouse, we're going to do selected equals false. And if selected is false, we're no longer going to execute this follow mouse function that's in our process function. And that's all the code we need, so we're going to save our work. Then we're going to go into our test scene, and then go back to 2D view. And where we have our pika drag.tsn, we're going to drag and drop that into our scene. And I'm going to just move it so he's kind of in the middle of the screen. I'm then going to save my work, and then I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, we are dragging and dropping a Pikachu. And notice how, if I pick him up by the tail, the tail will always be under the mouse. If I pick him up by the red little cheek, it's always going to stay under the mouse, because we have an offset. So... Thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.